Hello, hello. <clears throat> so today we're talking about if you're having a hard time committing um, to your acting career, committing fully. Um, so uh, it might look like you really want um, to be really involved in your acting career. You want to act. Um, you want to build your career. And yet you're catching yourself or you're noticing that you're maybe not doing everything that it takes to make it happen. So on one side, you're feeling, I really want this acting career. I really want those jobs, no matter which level you're at. Maybe you're at a certain, you know, um, type of career already and you want to expand into a juicier career and um you want it and yet um there's something inside of you that's pressing the brakes at the same time so like you know that there are things that you'll need to do in order to reach that level of expansion in your career and you're finding that you're not doing it and you might be hearing yourself saying things like Oh yeah, but I, I want it, but because this is not happening, I can't commit to it. Or because I don't get enough castings in my, in my town, I, then that's why I can't commit to my acting career because, um, I don't have any money or any time right now. And so that's why I can't actually get the training that I need to get in order to expand as an actor. Um, you you might you know hear yourself saying oh it's it's too hard i really want it but i there's so many things that i have to do like it's I, i'm feeling a little overwhelmed so again it's like i i want the thing and yet i'm not kind of throwing myself uh, i'm not throwing myself into it in coaching we say i'm not throwing my cap on the other side of the wall knowing that i'll have to get it no matter what like you're wanting it but you're staying in the starting block so you're not really starting to run for it um and um you might recognize this you may have caught yourself in other domains of your life saying things like you know i'll be happy when my relationship gets better or i'll be happy when i have more money or i'll be happy when i have that type of role or yeah, I'll be happy when I have that type of career. I'll be happy, um, you know, when I have more friends, when I go to this place as a vacation. And um, you, another version of that would be to hear yourself being like, oh yeah, I want the acting career and I know what to do. I know what my next step is in order to expand in my acting career. I'll do it when this happens. I'll do it when I have more time. I'll do it when I have more money. I'll do it when I don't have this health concern. Or I'll do it when I have I don't have this family concern. I'll do it when my kids are out of the house. I'll do it when, I'll do it when. I'll be happy when. So kind of always postponing, postponing what you want and your happiness to external factors like when that happens then i'll have access to the career or the happiness of the career and actually as you may have realized when you do reach those things those external things the more money the more time the better relationship nothing changes right it's not that you are happier or it's not that you are actually committing more to your career because all the energy that you ever need for anything is inside of you it's not ever outside of you whether it's for your happiness for your career what you need is always right here, right now, exactly where your feet are, right under your feet. It's like if you just stay with that, it's right here, right now, because the next moment doesn't really exist. It's in the future. What's the only thing that exists is the right now. What's past is past. What's future will happen when it's right now, tomorrow, but you can't be putting your energy there expecting this will change right so um if you have maybe um tasted in other areas of your life when you are committed it's a very different energetic sensation inside of you it's a very different focus so if you think of the areas that you're committed um some of you may have children and so your children's safety is your biggest commitment and as you know, um, your energy is completely 
um, focused on their safety. And there's nothing that can challenge that. It's priority inside of you. It's important to you. And therefore, all your energy is going there. And their safety is taken care of. It's done. Your commitment is all the way. Maybe you have felt that with a relationship. You fall in love and therefore you start committing to that person and you decide to commit. And therefore everything goes after that person because you commit. And therefore your energy is available to be present to that person or that child. Or maybe you've developed a business once and that became your biggest priority. And it, you committed to that business and so you put all your resources in it, all your time, all your money. So if you're not having commitment in your acting career, nothing will happen. Without commitment, it can't happen. And the reason you may not have the commitment is because it's not important to you. If it's not that important to you to act, you may be thinking, I really want the acting career to change or to happen or, you know, blah, 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 or the meaningful roles to come. But if you're not committing, meaning like you would commit to a relationship or to the safety of your child. It doesn't mean you know how you're going to keep your child safe. It doesn't mean you know how you're going to keep your partner happy, but you commit. You make the decision here and now, and you know that no matter what happens, you'll figure out a way. You need that if you want an acting career that is expansive. Because if your energy is not committed here and now, on making it happen, you will constantly be distracted and finding excuses in other areas of your life. And that's where your focus and energy will go. So if you're not committed to your acting career, it's because it's not important for you and it's not wrong. Maybe it is not important for you. Maybe what else is important to you? <clears throat> is it safety? Is it comfort? Is it, um, you know, staying um, inside of your comfort zone and actually not going towards what's really scary in your acting career, right? So when something is really important to you, you do commit and you know that sensation in you. You've probably committed to different things in your life and you know that sensation. All of your energy aligns. Suddenly, everything that makes you you is focused energetically on having that commitment taken care of. It's done. If you're not feeling that in your acting career and you're finding yourself hiding because, oh, when that happens, or if only this would happen, then I could commit, then it means it's not important to you. And if you want to make it important because it's true to your heart, you have to look at what's in the way of that, right? What are you actually prioritizing before your acting career? Your safety, your control, you're not risking anything, you know, there's, there's other things that you might be prioritizing. And that's okay, but let's put it flat on the table. What's actually really important to you? Because when it is really important, you will put, put all your energy, right? Like if you think, take an analogy, if you're thinking athletes, um, you're not running or engaging in an, uh, an athletic career or you're not running a marathon, if you don't have the commitment to stretch all the way, if your energy is, you know, engaged with other endeavors, you probably won't reach the end of the marathon or you won't reach um, the place where you actually stretch in terms of the record of the athletic discipline that you're in. It's the same for acting. If you're not committing fully, it means it's not important to you. Until you're committed fully, nothing will happen. You'll hide behind excuses. And so it's great to, to notice maybe if you're in this live and you're realizing you're like, oh, shoot, that's me. I'm saying I want it, but actually I'm hiding behind excuses or I'm finding myself behind other priorities or seemingly other priorities. And so I'm not doing what it takes. Okay. You've realized what's happening. You've realized there's something in you that wants to go forward and something is going backwards. It's like pressing acceleration and brakes at the same time. It's not going to move. It's not going to happen, right? So being authentic with that and truthful about that and realizing what is happening already takes you out of blaming your circumstances. 
of saying, oh, it'll happen when I have more money. It'll happen when I have more time. No, none of that is true. It isn't. It's really where do I decide to put my energy? And that can be scary because when you decide to put your energy in something, it means you risk it all. You put it all. You go for it. You become responsible. You stop blaming others, right? So take a moment and look at that. Look at why is it not the most important thing for me if I say it is? And if it's not, what am I putting before that? Usually it's going to be safety, you know, fear of risk, staying in my comfort zone. And if those are the things that are showing up for you, then it's time to look at them. Are they still valid for you? Is that still what you want your life to be led by? Do you still want to be in a protective mode or do you want to engage with life and build your inner safety rather than look for it outside, right? If this makes sense, uh, you can definitely... Hi, Lolo. You can definitely um, send us a DM and um, we can send you some information on the work that we do. Um, and it definitely demands commitment. If you're not going to commit to your art, nothing's going to happen ever. If you're not going to commit to your character, you're not going to be there for the character. You're going to be there for your ego, right? So that's another example. <clears throat> Hi, Claudio. If you're committing um, and you're feeling that it's a little bit half-assed for your character, most of your energy will probably be in your ego. And therefore, you're not going to have the type of freedom and truth when you're performing, and you're not going to impact your audience. Your character is not going to be really alive. <clears throat> so I hope that makes sense. Again, if it does, and uh, Claude is saying he is committed to your ego, to his ego. Yeah, most of us are, unfortunately. And um, if you're in an autistic discipline, uh, it's not really helpful. So um, yeah, let us know if this makes sense. If you need more information, uh, we have a free training that's called stop trying to be a good actor so you have a chance of being great you can download it for free in the link in the bio on instagram or in the about section on facebook and then if you're wanting more than that just let us know send us a dm and um we'll start conversing all right thank you guys happy monday again bye